Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're gonna to do a really, really great experiment, very simple to do. We're basically going to show you how you can actually take a small flame, a small candle flame, hold it up to uh, a dollar bill or a five dollar bill, and that piece of money will actually not burn. We're going to show you how to do that here today. And since today we're using something with a small flame, in this case a candle flame, you definitely want to make sure and get permission from your parents if you're a youngster to do this. And you also want to make sure you wear your safety glasses anytime we're dealing with something like this. All you need for this experiment is a copper pipe. This copper pipe can be found at any hardware store. Any diameter pipe doesn't matter. Just go get a copper pipe. You need a candle and you need some a uh, dollar bill or a five dollar bill or if you're really brave you could use a twenty dollar bill or even a hundred dollar bill once you see how this works you'll see how impressive the experiment is you can use any piece of paper by the way you don't have to use money it's just a little bit more impressive if you use money so the way this goes is you walk up to somebody and you say yes sir I will show you I will bet you that I can hold a candle flame for five seconds underneath directly touching this piece of money and it will not it will not burst into flames do you accept my challenge? And they'll of course say, of course I do, that's impossible. And you'll go ahead and do the following. So what we need to do is first light our candle and we're gonna just put it on a nice plate just to keep it out of the way and sort of protect it from our tabletop here. And we're just gonna light this. By the way, this is not a trick candle. Uh, none of these experiments that we ever do are based on tricks. There's nothing, there's no trick going on here. This is just, um, this is just science. This is just the way it works. So what you have here is a candle flame. It's perfectly well lit. What you need to do now is take your money, and what we're going to do is put this candle flame right on the bottom right here. Now, if we were to just do this right now, of course, this money is made of paper. This money is going to burst into flames. But we're not just going to place it right on top like that. We're going to actually take this copper pipe, and we're going to wrap this piece of money directly around like this. So we're just wrapping it around, nothing special. Right? And then what we're going to do is hold this candle flame directly on top of this money. One, two, three, four, five. And let's take a look. We look at it, it looks pretty burnt, but watch this. It definitely did not burn because when you look through to the other side, you see no discoloration. It has a definitely a scorch mark here, but when you take a look and just use your finger, you can actually wipe most of that away. Most of this black stuff here is actually soot from the candle. So if you had to take this to a bank or to a grocery store, this is still passable. This is still perfectly valid currency. So how were we able to put this money in the candle flame for five seconds and have it not actually catch on fire? The secret, as you probably guessed, is this copper tube. This copper tube is what's doing, doing the actual work here. What's happening is, when you hold this guy up to the flame, then the heat from the candle flame is going into the paper, obviously. Now, the way things burn is you have to increase the temperature to what they call the kindling temperature. And then after that point, you'll, it'll burst into flames and it'll start combining with the oxygen. And that's what, what we say when what happens when things burn, right? It combines with oxygen and makes a flame. In this case, since we wrap it in the copper like this, when we hold it over the flame like this, What's going on is the heat is going into the paper, but it's immediately transferred to this copper pipe, which is in direct contact with the money, right? And that's very, very important. You see, if I had used a plastic tube here or some other not, you know, not a great conductor, then the money would have burned. But because I'm using copper, copper is one of the best conductors of heat that we have. When I say conductor of heat, I mean that if you put a flame here, the heat is conducted along the copper and transmitted along the copper very, very, very fast. So what's happening is we are putting heat uh, from the flame into this money. But that heat is going into the copper and it's being carried away from the money very, very fast. So the temperature of the money is not actually able to rise high enough to actually burn it. Because as soon as we put the heat into the money, the copper carries the heat away and it's distributed through the copper pipe and then it goes into the air and it, and it leaves basically. So that is why this works. And that's why you're able to do this without actually burning your money. Now let me show you what happens when we use a regular sheet of paper, just so you know. We're going to hold the sheet of paper, wrap it around, balance it the same as we've done before, and then we'll put it right directly in the candle flame. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take a look at what we have. 
and we have a black mark. But again, it looks, you know, like it definitely burned, but if you turn it over, you can see that it did not burn all the way through anyway because the other side's not discolored at all. And again, if you use your finger, you can actually wipe most of that away. Most of that soot is actually from the candle flame, uh, the, 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 the gas hitting it and depositing all that stuff on there. Now, just to show you what's gonna happen if you don't use the copper tube, we'll arrange this guy and we'll hold it for five seconds into the flame. One, two, three, four, five, and it's on fire. So you can see that when we actually take away the copper pipe, the paper catches on fire within two or three seconds and it's, it's rolling on fire within five seconds. So the copper makes all the difference in the world. That heat coming in from the candle flame goes into the paper, immediately gets taken away by the copper pipe, so the temperature of the paper cannot rise hot enough to actually uh, catch on fire. So you can scorch it, you can burn it, but at least for the five second test, you're not gonna catch it on fire. Now, if you hold that flame there long enough or if you have a hotter flame, then you'll be able to overcome this effect here. But certainly for a simple experiment with a candle, a piece of paper or a dollar bill or a $5 bill, you can do a very impressive experiment that really shows you what heat conduction is all about. That energy goes into the copper, it gets transmitted away from the paper, so the paper actually doesn't catch on fire.